Hey, I am Jeroen Dudau, author of the Maps extension for MediaWiki, and in this video I'm showing off some of the new features added over the last few days. This is a namespace, MediaWiki namespace, added by the Maps extension called GeoJSON, and in this new namespace you can add pages that don't have wiki text but have GeoJSON, which is a standard for geospatial information. So all the markers and shapes you see on this page are defined in this GeoJSON. Now, while you can edit the source, and this is something you've been able to do for several months already with the extension, you can now use a visual editing interface to modify what's on this map. This is done with the controls on the left-hand side of the map. Note, these only show up if you have edit permissions. So on public wikis, you probably need to log in and confirm your email address, like on the SMW sandbox. So placing markers is super easy. Likewise, drawing shapes is also pretty easy. You can specify the text that should be shown when clicking on a marker simply by clicking on a marker. This is super intuitive. So you can put the title and you can put the description. And as soon as you make an edit via this interface, this save button here shows up. You just click this. You can put some edit summary over here and you'll get a notification the change was saved correctly. This uh, functionality was added in version 7.12 of Maps, which was released a few days ago. And just today I released the next version, 7.13, which is in a way a lot more exciting since now you can edit uh, directly in line but before I show that, I forgot to mention one of the new things in the recent versions also is that style information is now supported for GeoJSON. So you can see uh, this polygon has a different background color and uh, border opacity and so on. And uh, this information is coming from the GeoJSON following uh, standards. And you can go to geojson.io I use their editor and their styling interface to make some GeoJSON and import it into your wiki and it will be displayed properly now. Uh, at the moment, the visual editor itself does not support changing the styles though. All right, one, you, once you have one of those pages, you can use them in your regular wiki pages. So what we have here is a, a simple display map call. So all you need to specify in there is geojson equals Berlin, where Berlin is the title of the page in the geojson namespace. And then uh, the geojson is displayed here. And what's cool now is that there is this edit button that shows up. This is since the latest version. Now, uh, before I make an edit here, let's add a few more shapes over here and save this. All right. Now uh, you'll note that these shapes don't show up here. Even if I refresh the page in the browser, the shapes do not show up here because of the MediaWiki parser cache. I would need to make an edit or uh, use the refresh action here. Now, uh, to prevent from overriding modifications that happen on the GeoJSON page, when I enter edit mode by clicking the edit button, these shapes should show up over here. And they do. So now you can straight on your pages where you're using a map, enter some info and save with the same visual editing interface as on the GeoJSON namespace. And you can, uh, once you save, it access edit mode and you can go into it again by hitting the edit button. And as you see, the, the information shows up here as expected. All right, uh, I'm really excited about all these new features and I'm hoping that some further enhancements will be funded in the near future. Uh, mainly, I would really like to see 
uh, editing of the, the styles inside of the editor. So this would be uh, like the, the background color and the border color of, of shapes. And it would also include um, styling of markers. So you can use different markers. Uh, another thing that I would really like to see is uh, removing the need to have this GeoJSON um, page. What I want to have ultimately is that instead of using this parameter, you can just put editor equals on and you will get the editor. And this would also save the content straight in the page where you're using the map rather than somewhere else, which would give you much better integration into MediaWiki because at the moment, if you watch this page, uh, then you will not get notifications if the actual content displayed here is changed because it's stored in the GeoJSON namespace. And then finally, something I would really like to see uh, as well is integration with Semantic MediaWiki. So at the moment, all this information stored in the GeoJSON is not really accessible uh, outside of maps directly. And it would be cool if you could query at least uh, the points that are stored in here with Semantic MediaWiki. So and, uh, developing a connection between the GeoJSON and Semantic MediaWiki probably isn't too much work, but again, uh, some funding there is needed. Uh, then to finish up a few limitations, uh, the editor only allows editing things that are stored in GeoJSON. So if you're adding markers inside of Wikitext with the usual Wikitext syntax, these will not be editable. And they will also not show up once you go into edit mode to avoid confusion. Also, the editor is only available for Leaflet at the moment. All right, thank you.